awesome, guys. So now, um, as you can tell by the, uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, it, um, it appears that time has come. Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, we, uh, <laughs> we had a hell of a year, you know? Three years running, and we, uh, we did some pretty incredible stuff through those three years, but... <laughs> I just can't see how I can keep this running anymore. It's um, it's just not working. My ad revenue plummeting down to around $300 a month, Patreon funds being cut in half. I really just have no idea how to keep DBCB Exotics running. We're not making very many animals right now. We still have a long way to go. And of course we gotta move. We gotta get out of this house and Business just isn't working out, unfortunately. We had a good run over here. We 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 uh we had some laughs. We had a good time, and um, you know, maybe things didn't work out, but I think the journey was worth it all along. I, I think the laughs, you know, this is something I'll never forget. I'll never forget you guys and all the fun, the comments, the group chats, the Discord messages. I won't forget any of that, but it's time old Dakota move on. With all that being said, um, we are going to be selling the entire collection. The collection is going to go in a full price. I don't want to have the hassle of parting out every individual animal. So right now, you guys can actually get the full collection for um, $4.01. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, that's not the price that the animals are. That's the date today, uh, April 1st. Like April Fools. <laughs> I bet you I... <laughs> I had you going, didn't I? <laughs> oh, selling the whole collection. <laughs> hey, Dakota, how much is that super red? <laughs> It'd be a little bit more elaborate on this April Fool's prank than the last one that was only 10 seconds. I bet I had some of you going. You guys are like, damn, this thing's like a minute long, dude. This dude's actually like have tears in his eyes. Is he really selling the collection? <laughs> Okay, Dakota, that, that was a pretty good one, but how did you Photoshop that ad revenue and the Patreon stuff? I mean, that's really what sold it for me. I mean, there's no way you could be making a living off of that small amount of money. So, like, how did you do that part? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's, um, that's, that, that's all real. Those are, those are real numbers. I'm very concerned on where the future is going to be. But, um... That, at least it, it was a good uh, April Fool's joke. Real those <laughs> guys, could you imagine if I, if I had to stop being a YouTuber and a reptile breeder? <laughs> I have to get like a nine to five job, <laughs> could you imagine? Ah, uh, yes, now let's see who my next interviewer is. Oh, okay, here, looks like we have a Mr. Dakota Burke. Could you send him on in, please? Hey, how's it going? Thank oh, the doors doesn't really door like it used to, huh? Hey, how's it going, Dakota? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Burke. Uh, so we're looking at your resume here. Everything looks good, but there seems to be a pretty large gap in your resume. Do you, uh, know what's going on? You, you, um... You understand why you can't work here, right? That this is an Arby's, and well, it, is it because of covering tattoos, the, the face tattoo, having dreads, a uh, big beard, and then also the three-year gap in my resume? Is um, is that why I can't work at this fine establishment? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, not only is the resume thing a, a big issue, but um, you, you also look like a SoundCloud rapper that just didn't make the cut, and that's just, um, yeah, we don't want that here, I guess, at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. Hey, no worries, no worries, you're actually like the 15th guy to tell me that today. I I'll, see my, I'll see myself out, man. Hey, you have a great day. Yeah, uh, probably wouldn't work that well. 
It's with that in mind, that means, you know, I'm not just gonna give up on this because we're having a bit of a drought period of making no revenue whatsoever. Those trivial things are fine. We're gonna keep going over here at DVCB Exotics. Not to worry, we're not going anywhere. So you're probably wondering what the fuck. Um, I, I didn't finish. This takes a long time to get your hair, like, to get this into and then, like, all of this it takes a long time, man. And I, I gotta tell you, Renee's hands and my hands, they're not what they used to be. So um, I'll finish the rest when I finish it. I really, you know, I, like I said, I'm self-employed. I don't really care what I look like. But hey, let's go check out how the reptiles are doing, how the breeding project's going over here, which is pretty much the only thing that can save my ass at this point. Let's check it out. Coming on in here, not too much has changed, except the, the light bulb now does this. <laughs> That's the thing. Things are going all right, things are going all right. Kind of a slow start, which is a little bit disappointing. You guys can see we got one of the Chihuahuas right there. Uh, that one being the male, he's just basking, catching some UVB. We've got the Madagascan giant day gecko who is currently gravid right now with a big old belly. She should be laying here anytime soon. Uh, kind of bad news with the standing eye and you can kind of see if I open this bad boy up. Hopefully they don't run out on me. Um, you can see like right here, she did lay eggs, but they're um, they're both infertile. There's another one down here. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I can see they're laying eggs, which I guess is a positive sign. Uh, however, they are infertile, unfortunately. A little incubator. Let's check, get a total egg count with what's been going on. So we did get another clutch of these Chihua eggs. However, we had some darkling beetles chew on them, and I think they made them infertile. You can see they're a little bit moldy. I don't know why I still have them in there. But then if we come on in here, we've got one Madagascan giant day gecko egg, one crested gecko egg, which was a sprinkle time spice pairing, another day gecko egg, and then that first clutch of Chihua eggs. It said it, it's, been, it's been a little bit of a slow start, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what's going on with Spice. I don't think Spice is breeding right now. I think there's something up with him, so I might try pairing spots if we don't get eggs this month. And it's like, Cookie looks gravid, and Cookie is gonna lay eggs here pretty soon, but I haven't seen Pebbles lay eggs. Sprinkle has laid that clutch, but one of them was infertile. So I'm guessing that's actually retained sperm from last season and not fresh sperm from Spice. So Spice has been acting weird. I don't think he's breeding with the girls, and he might be pulled, and Spots might be our main breeder, at least for this year. Something's gotta be going on with these crested geckos because right now we do have spice paired with galaxy are one of our dbcb exotics produced gals and so that would mean for this month into next month we would have galaxy laying a clutch sprinkles laying a clutch cookie laying a clutch pebbles laying a clutch which is two four six eight eggs right there Right off the bat, we should have more eggs than we already have just in one month. However, Sprinkles has been the only crested gecko that has laid me a clutch of eggs, and it's only one egg. Not a very good start to the year. Of course, we have the gargoyle situation. Um, I, I have, th so I have this pair of yellow gargs that I really want to buy. However, I just don't, I don't have the cash for it. I can't afford my bills and pay off the, um hold that I have in this animal right now, which is a big bummer because we're losing our chances to get clutches of eggs the longer I hold out on that. And so it's with that being said, you know, I'm not going to pair this, you know, kind of subpar male to this amazing yellow garg. It's not something I want to do. So we kind of have a standstill on the gargoyles and we're going to have a less of a gargoyle year than what we could have had if I just, um, I don't know, shat $800 out of my butt to pay off the remainder of this loan. <laughs> what happens, I, it, it's not too big of a deal. It's still really early in the year. We're only in March. Well, we're still in March at the time of this recording. It's not April 1st yet, so there's still hope. God, there's still hope. But yeah, Tegus have been breeding. I noticed the female has some scratch marks on her back, which is an indicator that the male's been going to town on her, which is awesome. Have not paired, paired the Argus and monitors yet. I want the female to get a little bit bigger. And, um... I think that's about it. That That's about the stuff that's been going on. Uh, Madagascar and gay geckos are our prized breeders at this point, laying two clutches of eggs, but one of those eggs being infertile every single time. It's, um... It's a rough start to the year, so hopefully we can pull it together. Tokes have done absolutely nothing for me, if people are wondering. I, I literally, not a single clutch of toke eggs has been laid. You know what, maybe I should be a little bit worried. <laughs> you know, we always figure it out in the end, so you know, it's just one of those things that it is. I'm not gonna hold you up to this, guys, as it was a short little funny video that turned into me having an existential crisis. I should kind of stop doing these prank videos, but uh, yeah, I thought it was a fun thing. Happy April 1st, everybody, April Fools. Uh, hopefully you guys had more laughs than I, I did in this, um, in this video. Pull it together, Dakota. You just gotta get through this video. We'll figure out what to do afterwards. Just keep 
Let's keep this. Finish the video. Head strong. Outro time. Outro time. And well, folks, as always, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow us over here at DBC Exotics. If you want to check me out in some more places, you can always find me that, that stuff down there in the description. Um, thanks for checking it out. I appreciate every single last one of you guys. Until next time, goodbye.